town of former dictator Colonel Muammar Gaddafi has fallen into the hands of the Islamic State. They rule the east of the city. Government buildings in the center have been occupied. The first thing they started to do was go after the policemen and the soldiers, people from the Ministry of Interior and the army. Even if you were from the previous regime, they would summon you to repent and pledge allegiance to this state of theirs. And if you don't come forward, they will threaten to blow you up or kill you. It's usually just a threat. They also ordered the university to commit to segregating the boys and the girls and ordered the radio station to broadcast Quranic verses which in reality stated that the army and police are infidels. And this is not true Islam. In reality, they choose the bits of Islam they want, not all of it. They are criminals. Some are from the former regime. Some are wanted for murder. Some of them are smugglers. Some of them people traffickers. They come and use this as a cover to protect them. As for the foreign mercenaries with them, there are Tunisians, Egyptians, one Yemeni, Bangladeshis or Pakistanis. I don't know which exactly, but not in large numbers. We follow commanders from Libyan dawn the militia controlling much of the west of the country, into the heart of the jihadists' territory. We drive fast to avoid being spotted by snipers on the rooftops. What began as a small group of foreign fighters has burgeoned into a force of 500 men. Colonel Gaddafi lavished the city with money and privilege. Then, in 2011, NATO bombs and rebels hell-bent on revenge destroyed it. For some of Sirte's angry and disaffected residents, siding with the extremists is a way of taking back control.